How's it going? So, uh, working on another project for my uh, hammock. I needed a bag that I could hang from my ridge line just to hold like my iPhone and maybe a pocket knife or something when I'm sleeping in the hammock. Uh, I particularly don't want to have a knife or keys or anything in my pocket because my hammock's made of such a thin material that uh, I don't want something to poke a hole in it. So, uh, I actually got started on this already and I thought I might as well take the opportunity to shoot some video of it. Um, just making a really simple uh, mesh bag out of this no -seam mesh that I have left over from some other project. Um, I'm using some uh, grow grain ribbon to bind the uh, edge and uh, I've got this pinned up for the outside. I've already actually sewn the top of the pocket here. If I can find some light you can see it in. And uh, basically what I'm gonna do is put a grow grain border on all sides and then this will fold over the ridgeline bag. I'm sorry, over the ridgeline and I'll probably do a velcro attachment or something. Uh, I have velcro so I'm guessing that's probably what I'm going to use. But anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and sew up this seam. Uh, I am not good at sewing at all. I'm a welder by trade so uh, I don't know anything at all about sewing, so you should not use anything you see me do as a uh, uh, indication that that's the correct way to do it, um, and uh, follow my lead at your own risk. All right, I'm at the end of uh, this seam, so I'm gonna just get to the very end of the fabric, or close to it, and then I'll go back a few stitches, and then forward again, and that should lock it at least so I'm led to believe and I haven't had anything come loose yet so and since I'm using black fabric and black mesh and black thread uh, you really can't see the stitches at all so you can't tell that I'm terrible at sewing. Alright I've continued the uh, ridgeline bag I've got the uh, binding sewn on the bottom and both sides and on the mouth of the bag. So now I'm going to take this flap and it's going to uh, fold over the ridge line and I'm just going to sew some, some Velcro I have left over from yet another sewing project and I'm going to sew the uh, you know, male or female strip to one side and the opposite strip to the other side so I can fold that over the line, Velcro it together and it hopefully will at least hold the weight of an iPhone, a pocket knife, some eye drops, uh, you know, whatever I feel like putting in there. Uh, my lucky anvil that I like to bring backpacking with me. Um, so, I'm going to sew on the Velcro. I'll spare you the uh, uh, boredom of watching me sew. It's all the same. And we'll see what happens when I have that done. Okay, uh, the bag is basically done. So I've got uh, Velcro that will fold over. Uh, to mate with itself over the ridge line and then the bag. Um, I don't know if this is necessary or even advisable and probably not the way someone who knows what they're doing would do this but since I don't know how to miter the corners to make them nice and neat and there's some little bit of fraying on the uh, edges here I'm just gonna singe those off because this is nylon and it'll just melt and hopefully that will prevent it from fraying anymore in the future and if not in real time I probably have half an hour invested into this and uh, it's all scrap material that I had left over anyway and I've got a bunch more of it so I'm not gonna cry too much if this thing falls apart this isn't something that uh, could cause me to fall out of the hammock or get hurt so just trying to make it look a little bit neater. So, that's it. Nothing left to do but hanging on something. Well, at the risk of revealing my true laziness, uh, I didn't feel like going and putting the hammock up outside. Uh, so, I just rigged up my uh, tarp ridge line uh, here in uh, inside the apartment. So, but here we go. probably fiddling around with this more than I need to. It probably doesn't need to be 
perfectly mated, but why not? So there's the bag. And there's a phone. There's a pocket knife. And, uh, what the heck, there's a chapstick and some eye drops in it, and uh, I think that'll work. That seems to do uh, exactly what I want. So, ta-da! Thanks.